Good morning, we're out here at the Montgomery, Dubai, and I'm with uh, the custom fitter of Golf House, Jason Ashley. And last month we tested the, uh, the new Great Big Bertha Alpha and the Great Big Bertha from Callaway. And this month we're going to test the new Fairwoods uh, that will be launched uh, first week of October. So from hitting them this morning and from looking at them this morning, um, they, do, they are different, they feel different, they look different. Uh, Jason, what, uh, what can you tell us about the new Fairwoods? Yeah, so basically we're looking at uh, slightly different designs. We're looking at the Great Big Bertha, a little bit of a, a little bit bigger head, not much. Okay. Um, just in terms of a little bit more forgiving golf club. Um, we have a little weight in the front of the club just to, to help us reduce spin a little bit. Um, more designed for to be a little bit more forgiving. Right. A little bit lighter head as well. Um, but the Alpha head is a little bit different. We can see that you've got the movable weight technology. You can switch it over uh, front or back, which is going to help a lot with spin rate, which you don't have the, that option in the Great Big Bertha. So this is a little bit more versatile. Uh, they sit a little bit different. I think Scotty will explain that uh, as he hit them. But certainly the Great Big Bertha sits very square. Uh, this one sits a little bit slightly open, uh, designed for somebody that's going to be drawing the ball. This would be a better look for his eye. Um, so yeah, in terms of golf clubs, uh, very the exact same adapters. Shafts are a little bit different in the options, um, but very similar. If you look at the the actual head itself, they actually sit quite similar, um, and they actually look uh, very similar from the top, but a little bit different in in, in terms of what they do. We've seen great gains in, in Callaway equipment in the last few years. Uh, unbelievable ball speeds, um, dispersion is tighter. So really good golf club that they're making and producing. I see on there it's got uh, the, the face cup, is that something that's carried over from the previous ones as well? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's, that's probably one of the biggest things I see in Callaway Golf Clubs is yes. the amount of ball speed that this uh, speed cup face uh, produces. It's, it's unbelievable. Okay. Um, so the actual ball speed that, that the Callaway products produce, whether it's through uh, from their irons all the way through to the, um, the woods, it's incredible how fast the ball comes off the face on average. Uh, I see that a lot and uh, it's really, really a, an unbelievable design in that type of speed cup face. And same thing, just progression a little bit into these heads and we saw the ball speeds were pretty good again. Okay. Um, so yeah, very, very Great. good technology. From, uh, from hitting them this morning uh, and from looking at them, there's definitely uh, some differences. Um, First of all, we all know the Big Bertha name is iconic and it's, it's great to see that name back in the golf club. Just by looking at it, I want it back in the bag. So uh, we'll see how the numbers uh, stack up just now. Um, looks wise, putting them down together, the, uh, the Big Bertha Al Alpha looks smaller. But when I put down the Great Big Bertha, I actually prefer the footprint on that. Um, the faces of the two, the Great Big Bertha, maybe looked square a little bit shut. Where the Alpha square to a little bit open. Um, flight wise, yeah, I think I hit the Great Big Bertha a little bit better. Dispersion wise, I think I was a little bit off in the Great Big Bertha. The Alpha was maybe a bit tighter. Off the face, they really feel great. I mean, the ball speed felt like it was jumping off the face. I don't know what the numbers are. Um, the shafts, uh, they feel pretty good. They are lightweight, which I prefer. Um, and I think they come in two different options as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, what, what are they? You've got the um, Aldila Rogue 70 in the, in the Big Bertha 3-wood, and the one that we've gone with is the Cura Cage okay. in, the, in the Great Big Bertha head. All right, fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at some numbers. What, uh, what did they uh, spell out for me? Okay, so what we noticed was uh, the slightly lighter head, the Great Big Bertha, you swung a little bit faster. Okay. So therefore your ball speeds were a little bit quicker with this one. Um, as you said, in terms of uh, spin rate, I think because of that you were getting a little bit of a draw. Yeah. It seemed to reduce your spin rate a little, bit, uh, a little bit more with this club. So you actually were around the 2,900, sort of 3,000 average, okay. uh, which, is, which is quite... Um, Quite low for a three wood actually, but not bad. Uh, this one, uh, the dispersion was really good. I think that came that comes down to the way the face sits, because um, Scotty does come a little bit into out, so he is a drawer of the golf ball. So this one definitely was a tighter dispersion. Uh, ball speeds were a little bit slower just because of the the one mile an hour slower club okay. head, club head speed. So if you did the ratios, it would work out very similar. Um, but certainly saw a slightly different flights and shapes to the clubs, and I think. Uh, we'll see a good uh, progression for golfers uh, into either one of these who are looking to, to either shape a ball a, a certain way or potentially not shape it as much. So right. I think from a fitting perspective, really exciting to see um, forgiveness of the Great Big Bertha plus possibly that little draw bias 
uh, will help a lot. And then for, for a slightly better player who's actually turning the ball over and he, and he wants something that's not going to turn as much, maybe the alpha would be a little bit more suited as we saw with you, not getting as much draw shape to it. All right, fantastic. So that's the, uh, the new Great Big Bertha and the Big Bertha Alpha from Callaway. Uh, we're launching it first week of October. So please keep your eyes peeled for that one in, in Golf House and around all other golf retailers in the Middle East. Uh, Jason's our custom fitter down here. Please come and see him. Got great shaft options, grip options to, to customize your game.